Let's now take a look at the delete request. So the delete request is gonna be very similar. So just a function, we're gonna give it an appropriate name. And this time we're gonna call it the delete on the HTTP client. Now notice that with the delete, you usually pass the identifier of the resource that you wanna delete. And in that case, we're passing in the ID and we're passing it in as a path variable. So it's part of the URL itself, but you can also pass it in the header of the request. You can pass it as a request parameter and we're gonna look at request parameter in a minute. So you usually don't see this ID in the request body you usually see it either in the header or in the request parameter or you can see it as a path parameter which is the example that we're showing here this resolved to unobservable so you have a value that's true or false and that's going to tell you if the operation was successful or not in this case if the delete was successful and also you usually don't get any data back so you don't get any data back and that's usually what you would get in the response body so you can get like some value that tells you everything was successful, but you're not gonna get like an entire object back or anything like that. However, you can do that. Like you can implement your web service so that whenever they delete a resource, then you can send that deleted resource back to the user. So it really comes down to how you wanna implement your web service. So let's go ahead and take a look at this in the code. So before we go to the code, I wanted to take a look at the documentation on JSON placeholder. So whenever we're sending a delete request, we pass in the ID to delete that specific resource. But I have no idea what this is gonna return back to me. As you can see here, they didn't mention. So if I scroll up a little bit, you can see here they mentioned the output whenever you're doing, for instance, a patch request. But for the delete, they didn't say what you get back in return. So I'm guessing maybe you get nothing back except like the HTTP headers. So you get no response body. So let's go ahead and try this out and see what we get back as the response from the server. 